family. Welcome to Traveling to the Browns with Alex and it's me, that guy friends on low. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so you all have seen the last three cruises we've been on. We did Carnival Horizon for our Christmas cruise. We did our anniversary cruise with Carnival Liberty. And the last cruise that we just did, and that was like a last minute booking. That was with good old MSC Seaside. So we decided to come on here and give you a full review of MSC Seaside. Oh, hold on, wait a minute. Go ahead. First of all, let me say thank you to our fans, the ones that subscribe and the ones that watch our video. Y'all are the MVP. We appreciate y'all. Uh -huh. Keep it up. Just keep, yes. keep going. We're trying to run it up this year. We are. We are, y'all. We're trying to do something new. And listen, thank you, DJ Skills, for talking to Lo and letting him know he need to speak up more because he is now finally doing it. We enjoy your videos. Everybody, please subscribe to him as well. So, let's get into MSC Seaside. So, I'm going to start off by saying when we first got there... It, uh, just pulling up to the port, y'all, the the directions, everything, that was amazing. I think that was the best. Very smooth. Yes, that was the best. Like, the lane had exactly where you needed to go. Kudos to MSC for that. We appreciated that because, listen, Carnival will leave you hanging. <laughs> You're going you gonna to go around the block at least about two or three times with Carnival because you don't know where you need to go. That's actually in Port Canaveral and Miami is one of the worst ports, okay? One of the biggest ones. So, Port Canaveral, um, Carnival, take notes from MSC when it comes to pulling up, you know, and just... I want to say everything was smooth, like, the pay, you go ahead, okay, well... With MSC, you pay um, before you park, which is no problem. It was not expensive. Not as expensive as it, as it was when we actually um, went to um, Miami yeah. with Carnival Horizon. That was a little bit more. But um, Port Canaveral, it was definitely cheaper. So we appreciated that we want to say and even just getting into the the terminal like we had a 2 p.m check-in time we still was able to we check, check in, in we was able to check in at 11 that was something that was i mean it, everything was just smooth even though we had to wait at least about what 15 20 minutes before mm -hmm. we got on it was still smooth just the whole process of getting on like getting your sign and sale card kudos to you msc for that because that was smooth like we have no complaints about that at all and it didn't cost more to do anything like that you know what carnival carnival did bring back faster to the fun so we try not to compare let me go back i shouldn't be doing that y'all we try not to compare but we just like that a whole lot better with msc um okay getting on the ship that's where things got a little rocky for us the first day. When we got on, <laughs> we got on there, like you go to the kiosk and you're supposed to activate your sign and sell card. That's the card that they give you before you get on the it ship. Was not working. Lowe's was not working. Mine was working. So that was like, okay, well, what, we need to go to the service desk. We need to figure out what's going on. Why is it not working? What's what? That was kind of weird for us. We were not used to that. I'm used to when we get on there, everything is working. We're able to do whatever we need to do. Okay. And then another thing was, even though, and I didn't show y'all, but even though I had did our dining time at 6 p.m. You don't get the dining time. No. Supposed to. If you are a first time cruiser with MSC and you um you don't have like one of the the higher grade rooms like you don't have like a um I'm like well they call it the arrear rooms and like you're not in a suite um we found that yeah you finna get one of the 930. yes 930. we had a 9 30 dining time y'all your girl's old. I can't do that. I can't do nine o'clock. 
I don't do nothing. Nine thirty. That's late. Listen, we be in bed. Nine thirty. Well, to that, I want to say it still wouldn't be bad because the ball, <laughs> you know, the ball probably would be better than the it. It may room. have been. I still, I'm, I am. Uh, I want you to serve me some food, girl. I want them to bring the food to us. So, um, we opted. Sorry, we're, we're looking over there. We're looking at baby girl. We opted to um, go to the Matri D and change the dining time. So we changed the dining time. We did do that, and we ended up getting seven thirty because there was a, a family in front of us, a family of four, and they were trying to get their dining time. They hit the nine thirty two, and the lady was like, "Uh, uh-uh, uh, I mean, we can put you on the waiting list, but we ain't got nothing." So I'm panicking. I'm just like, because we were next in line. We waited an hour in this line to get that thing changed, y'all. And I'm just telling them, ooh, to know. listen, I was mad. I was like, ooh, we don't wait in this line all this time. We ain't going to be able to change this time. But, you know, luck would have it. We were able to get 7.30 because it was just us two. Now, had we had our full crew, we would have had a mess. We probably would have been on that bar a lot of times. That, that would have been like, because you want to experience the dining room. You know, you want to see what's what. Now, I was going to do the specialty dining, but we decided not to. We decided to just do the free option. And mind you, the cruise and all was cheap. It wasn't a, a high price cruise. MSC was one of the cheapest ones that we were able to book. So I was all for it. I'm like, you know what? Let me go ahead and let me let me just book this little um, four hundred dollar cruise. I mean, it was an eight day. We no, normally don't even do eight days, so we just opted to do that. So um, that was going with the first day. Now at first, and they don't tell you because it was like deck sixteen. Is that what one of the yeah. deck sixteen had one of the the actual um, buffets? It didn't have that much on deck 16. We didn't realize that. Deck 16 is not the deck to go on to get the food. Deck 8 had the better option. But we also just thought, it was just, I was like, oh my God, I'm going to struggle because all they got is burgers, fries, and pizza. I cannot <laughs> that, do. That was the first thought of everybody. Listen. Out on, oh, they served a hamburger. A hot hamburger, dog. hot dog, fries, and pizza. No, no, no. Your girl need a full meal. I, I need some real food. I I knew, I was just like, oh my God, what am I going to do? But we discovered that mm, you can actually get, like, I mean, I had some very good options. The food was good. It wasn't bad. Now, I had seen other videos where people were like, oh my God, the food's bad. The food was not bad. Right. Like, even in the dining room, we did not just have, I didn't get nothing and I was just like, oh no. Now, it was a couple of um, desserts that I got, but the waiter actually told me, like, yeah, you probably want to order something else. And I was, and he knew what he was talking about because it was not good. So, mostly, mm-hmm. it was like that, um, I don't know. It was like that purple stuff that I had. No, got. I said, what was his name? Oh, I forgot. Ooh. You remember it was the lead, the head one, and it was the one that was in, the one in training. The, the head, man, he went by. He wasn't doing nothing. nothing. He, mm-mm. The the one that was working up under him, he was amazing, y'all. Is it Fernando? <sighs> I gotta remember. I don't know. He I ain't gonna miss he he was wonderful. He was wonderful, y'all. He was wonderful. I will tell you that. Um, another thing that I want to say is, um, I am used to the nightlife. Now, don't get me wrong, that girl is old. I can't party. I used to party, but I did want to do like a little dance and I do like to go to the club a little bit. No, it's not. He's really not a partier, y'all. He's more of, I'm going to chill out. I'm going to sit out. Here go me, you know, I just shake a leg to get tired and go ahead and go to bed. But it was not it. We're not smokers. And I found out like the nightlife is right by, they really didn't have a nightclub. So it was right by the smoking area. So that, pretty much just throwed us off. That was a no-go. Um, the Silent Night Party, um, it was more of a techno type thing that they had. I enjoyed it. It was, it was not bad. It was an experience. Put it was way. an experience. It's just something you need to experience. Like, anytime you're yeah. on a cruise, you need to experience stuff. Absolutely. You know what you like. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, I will say 
that was okay. I, I wanted some other music. Now, don't get me wrong. Now, your girl can jam off anything. But I did want some other music. He think I'm just really just thugged out when it comes to music. I am not. I can listen to all kind of music, y'all. Now, I do have my preference sometimes because it get me high, get me crumb. But for the most part, I can jam off anything. I have moments where I'm just listening to some pop, y'all. Some Taylor Swift. Okay. I, I can get with that. But, yeah, that was um something else. Um, Karaoke was a big letdown. Okay, so I get the idea of having karaoke, um, like, as we would call on the Lido deck. That's where they had, like, the Celeway party. And, oh, and the Celeway party was nice. That wasn't bad. We was like, okay, because I was just expecting for this thing to just be dead. But it wasn't. It wasn't. Damn. Yeah, they was getting Get it now. Involved. They did. They did. It was getting down. It, it did look like how you look at some videos. And, and you be like, like oh. what? It, that ain't it. But I think, for the most part, you do make a cruise what you want it to be. Now, I was able to talk to a lot of people. Now, I didn't get everybody on camera. But when I tell you, it was not just black people, white people, Mexicans, whatever. Everybody was saying the they did. They was not happy about it. It was just like this ain't it. Uh, I had we had a lady that's been on multiple MSC cruises, and I she just did not like the whole atmosphere of seaside. And I think because it just came from Europe, so she also said that <clears throat> we went. We was at a port. They didn't cater to the elderly, like having to wait. That was a Mexican lady. Mm -hmm. Transported, you know, to and from the ship because some of them couldn't walk. And yeah, it was a long walk. It, it was, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Like it's not like most ports where they have pier runners that could take you in there. But now there. I will say that when we did visit the ports, we Costa Maya, Ocean Key, Cozumel, like um, oh, no, we did go. We did all three of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was a Christmas cruise. That was a Christmas cruise. We didn't go to one of the ports. But um, we visited all the... That was our first time in Costa Maya. I didn't really see much in Costa Maya. Not really. Uh, that's what I would say about Costa Maya. That was the light show, wasn't it? Light show was Ocean Key. Okay. Yeah. Light show was Ocean Key. So, Ocean Key, yeah. Beautiful beach. Love that. That was beautiful. Um... Costa Maya, like I said, the water really choppy there. So, I mean, but we still, hey, we got off there. Co Cozumel is like my favorite port, y'all. And also, let me give you a pointer. Listen, if you want something at those ports, do not use your card. Now, don't get me wrong. You can, but you can haggle prices just by having cash. They say money talk, BS walk. They they could tell you, oh, we want this. Hey man, this is all I got in cash right now. And it's okay. They're gonna take it. They're gonna take it. I'm they letting you know. Wanted, like I was gonna go in there and try to get a chain. The guy kept saying <laughs> he wanted a thousand dollars for the chain. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not gonna pay no thousand dollars for mm -hmm. the chain. So by the time he kept trying to mm -hmm. he kept going down, so I'm like, nah, I'm finna go. Oh, I'll give it to you for a hundred dollars. You should have said that in the first place. Okay. Ain't nobody, you ain't finna get a thousand dollars out of me, dog. Nah. I, ain't, I ain't got it like that. Mm -mm. We're not finna spend that. But, listen, your girl, she gonna negotiate. Because that's what I do. I'm gonna no negotiate. Also, I would say make sure you have some ones, some fives, some tens, twenties. Okay? Because they don't be having change. And baby, they try to give you their currency. And that does not equate to the American dollar. No, no matter where you go, mm -hmm. anywhere, you just make yeah. sure you have. Because they want your dollar mm -hmm. more than they want their own. They Absolutely. Give you their dollar. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's what we do. That is exactly what we do. Came back home with some Jamaican dollars. I can't even. Well, eat. yeah. Well, I wanted to keep one as a souvenir and a Bahamian dollar. We got both of them. So, we got a souvenir, y'all. But... We wanted to give y'all just our little synopsis of MSC Seaside. Um, I'm going to ask Lo, would you do it again? Yes or no? Your honest uh, opinion. It's, uh... <laughs> I don't know, come at me. That's good. I really? <laughs> so, for me, no. 
it's a no for me. Now, not saying like if I had some family members and they was like, hey, we want to try this out. Uh, I, I think for me, maybe it was geared more towards the European crowd. It was. The, the Spanish speaking crowd. Like when they interacted with them, you could see a whole different person. And then when they come talk to you, it's like, oh, but then like with our head waiter, he really didn't interact with us until the last day. Then he was all friendly and talking and laughing. Like, dude, I really didn't know what your boss was like. It was crazy, but that's true. Now, listen, our room store, I don't forget the old guy name, but amazing. He was on it. Now, y'all need to start being nice to these people that be cleaning the room and stuff because all I did, I'm going to tell you what I did on that first day. He was like, you know, I got so much to do. I really haven't had any sleep. And you know, I just told him, I need to take care of you. I need to make sure you eat and take care of you. Ever since that first day, every day, and I would tell you every day, hello, Alex, I slept, or I'm going to go get some rest right now, or I did eat. He used to all, every day he told me that. So we just wanted to make sure that he was like that. That's low phone, y'all. But for the most part, we really just want y'all to never find low phone, y'all, because it show just ringing. But what we wanted to do was to just give y'all our synopsis on MSC Seaside. Again, if we have family members that want to go, we're like, hey, let's try this. We'll do it. I'm like thinking about planning a group cruise. The only thing about group cruises is... I would say that cruise would be okay being less than eight days. Eight days is a lot. That was a lot. That was a lot. I will say that. I don't know. Even when we was on the okay, we was on the Carnival Horizon, and that wasn't too bad though. The Horizon is nice ship. Though. Also, just also be careful on the cruise ships because mm -hmm. you have sick people on there and they don't care. Oh, we came back with COVID. Yeah, he was actually he had to get it while we was on the ship because he was like sick coming up the road. And I was thinking like, oh, well, is your allergies? We was getting Zyrtec. You know, I'm thinking it's his allergies. When we got home, we woke up the next day. He was running a fever. Next thing you know, I got it. And then our oldest child got it. Oldest son. So, yeah. You got to be careful because like, like I said, people will be coughing and touching mm -hmm. stuff. And you got to protect you. At yeah. the end of the day, because yeah. they ain't going to care about you. Absolutely. Take care of you. But for the most part, y'all, enjoy life. If you want to try something new, try a new cruise line. We definitely going to do that. And like I said, I may plan a group cruise. I don't know. We have to see y'all. But for the most part, this is what I want y'all to do. I want you to enjoy life. I want you to... You don't even have to do a cruise, man. Just go somewhere. And don't let nobody make you feel like if you stay in Georgia or whatever and you go to Florida. All you do is go to Florida. Baby, do what's going to make you happy. It, well, it's your money. It's not there. Do they ain't, they ain't paying for the trip. You pay for what you want. Not what somebody else feels. Because mm -hmm. guess what? You're going to go broke trying to live off what somebody else thinks. Okay. So, I always say. Y'all know what I always say. I want y'all to be blissful and always remember this should be you. And also this too. I want to say thank you again to all subscribers. Y'all yes. are the VIP. We appreciate y'all also. Thank you. Thank y'all. We'll see y'all next time. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I'm most definitely here to answer them. I'm not a talker. So Lo is not a talker. So this is a lot. This is a lot. Lo ever done a lot. Listen, I be on a cruise ship doing TikToks and everything. Lo just be filming y'all. Well, he's participated in a couple. But anywho, I want y'all to be blissful. And this should be you. Bye. Bye.